Welcome everyone to another five minute workout. Today we are doing a standing mat warm up, which can be done obviously before any of your mat workouts, or it can just be done throughout your day as a source of movement. Let's start with our feet hip distance apart, standing nice and tall, shoulders open. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale like you're blowing through a straw. <sighs> ah, I feel better already. Let's do that two more times. Deep breath in and exhale. One more time, deep breath and exhale. Now let's add some movement. So what I want you to do is drop your head and start to flex your spine over, feeling the stretch in the back of the legs. Let the head just relax, don't try to keep it up. Breathe in once you hit your point of resistance and then exhale and start to stack everything back up from tail to head. Breathe in and exhale, start to relax forward. Keep the knees nice and soft so you're not walking into the back of them and then roll back up. One more time, breathe in and exhale forward. Each time you should feel like you might be able to go a little bit further, so go for it. And then roll all the way back up. Now we're gonna do an exercise that we do on the mat called the breaststroke because I love it standing. It's a great way to warm up the shoulders and the spine. Reach your arms up and as you do that, just lift your chest a little bit. Then you're going to sweep the arms back behind you and lift your chest even more. A big inhale here helps. And then as you exhale, dive right up to your ceiling. And then inhale, open, big breath in. And exhale, reach up. Really stretch, not just the arms, but the spine. So feel the top of the head lifting. And then keep that feeling as you reach your arms down and back behind you. Let's do it one more time. Exhale, reach up. And inhale, open, big open there. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then just relax back to a tall position. I want you to take your feet slightly wider and bend your knees. I call this the athletic stance. Take your arms out to the sides, keep your hands in front where you can see them, and then turn to one side and come back to the center. The reason we're flexing the knees and the hips is so that you can keep them square to the front and you can kind of feel where they are. We want this rotation to happen in the spine. So I'm rotating the ribs and the arms are going along for the ride. And I'm sure you've continued to breathe, inhaling as you turn, exhaling back to front, inhaling to turn, exhale back to front. Let's do it one more time to each side and switch and back to center, rise up and bring your arms back down. Keep your feet where they are and let's take one arm up and we're gonna side bend over. Come back up tall and then relax the arm down. Breathe in as the arm goes up. Exhale over, breathe in as it comes up and exhale down. So I'm stretching not just my arm to the ceiling but I'm lifting up on that whole side and then bending over. Coming up and back, do it again. Big breath in for me. Exhale over to the side. Come up and down. Now, we're gonna take the feet even wider and we're gonna go into a standing saw. So take your arms out to the sides with your palms facing forward. Rotate your torso to one side and then flex down over that leg, reaching toward the baby toe. Come back up, still facing that side, and then return to center. We're gonna take a big breath in as we turn and you're gonna exhale over that leg. Inhale to come up, and then exhale back to center. Let's do it again. Breathe and rotate. Exhale, flex over. Inhale, stand back up tall, and exhale, come to the center. Rotate, flex over, come back up, and back to center, and lower your arms. Turn your legs out, and give me a little sumo squat here, just sinking down, lift your heels, lower your heels, find that balance point, chest lifted, inhale up, exhale down, try to stay between the great toe and the second toe, and lower down, just two more, lift, can you feel your legs warming up, and lower one more time, lift, now, can you keep them there, and rise up, and then lower the heels, bring your legs back together, and shake it all out. And I hope you feel wonderful. 
Check out our longer workouts on John Gary TV, and I'll see you again next time. Bye, buddy.